Right, set to go. Maruki with ball in hand and, and same Ayub. On strike. Edge, oh, that is brilliant. Absolutely stunning catch. Diving away to his left. Gurbaz pouches it just above the ground. An early strike, another one. This time for Fazilak Faruqi. Yeah, once again, perils of uh, committing yourself on the front foot way too early as an opener. Just hung his bat away from the body and what a catch. Talk about athleticism. Talk about dexterity. Wow, it combined to bring about the dismissal of Saima Yu. He didn't score any run. It's zero for one Pakistan. Oh, tight, really tight. I think that's out. I think he's hit. Has he hit his pad or has he hit the ball? Maybe it's an inside edge. He's gone upstairs straight away. Ah, uh, there were two sounds. Pitching in line, impact in line, wicket hitting. Pakistan, stay with your original decision. You are on the screen now. Took his time, made the right call, and it was spot on. Abdullah Shafiq got his four in a row in T20 internationals. He is the first man to ever do that. Pick up four ducks in a row. None for two. Forget about that. He knows only one way to bat. Go after the baller. That's into the gap as well. Lovely bit of timing for a moment. Harris. He goes back to back boundaries. Oh, what a shot that was! Cleared everything. Top sound of the bat. You know where it's going. Coming onto the bat, slightly nicer. Well, not overly short. But, uh, the pace of the ball allowed Robert Harris just to swing through the line. Edge this time and gone. There's another one. And this time, it is Naveen Al Haq who picks up the wicket. That was an airy fairy stroke from Maharis once again. He once again forgot to get to the pitch of the ball. His foot was outside the leg stump. He was looking to hit the ball, which was pitched outside the off stump through extra cover. Had to pay the price. Had to pay the price. Brisk start from Maharis. End it. His contribution 15, it's 20 for 3. Oh, it's lovely. What a start that is from Imad. That was a brilliant hit from Imad Vasil. Full toss, catch it as a goal, but that should sail over. That was one juicy full toss and Imad wouldn't miss that. Brings up the 50 for Pakistan. Loose delivery to start off the ninth over. Batsman of the caliber of Imad is not going to miss out on this. Balls of catch it and he's got more than enough to clear that long one boundary comfortably. Guide in the air, will they get to it? Two men under it, and it's been taken. He's claimed it. Omar Zai, that's a good catch. He ran in from deep square leg. It was a top edge. It took some catching, kept his eyes on the ball, and held on to it. That's the problem. Went for that release shot, wasn't that short. Have a look at this. Well, it's an outstanding catch. You'll feel for him because he's gone just a little too far down going up. That's why he's got the distance going up as opposed to 
the distance going forward. It's an outstanding catch because he's running into his left. Probably would have been easier for Najibula to take it, but he's affected the catch. He goes for 13. Once again, failed to pick up that wrong gun from Rashid Khan. Azam Khan on that occasion. And he's not bothered to refer it. He's walking back. Yes, just one quick look at the uh, non striker. And then he said, No point in taking that. Only one review that's left for Pakistan. Take another look at this. It's the wrong one. It's pitched and it's turned back into the right hand. Got him plumb in front of middle and would have crashed on the middle in leg. The umpire had no hesitation whatsoever in upholding that appeal from Rashid Khan. The captain has struck and it's an important wicket. Azam Khan gone for one. Pakistan 63 for five. Clever. Very clever indeed. It's gone all the way. 54 Imad. Only the second Pakistan player to do so against Just Afghanistan. He uh, now sits alongside Barbarazm. Yeah, this is not a good delivery. We talked earlier on the over about four boundary riders on the leg side. This is short, it's given him width. He has also given himself some room going leg side to be able to access the offside. Oh, can't quite get that one right. Is the bat or not? They're keen. They're desperately keen. There was a little noise, but what was it? No, there definitely was a noise. It doesn't look like the ball was close to anything else, really, other than probably a brush on the glove. It's a flat line. When ball passes to the bat, it's a flat line. No bat involved. Bismillah, you stay with your original decision, not out. And you are on the screen now. That will be four. Thick outside edge away to a vacant third. Side edge, and that will race away for four. So, a couple of streaky ish boundaries in the last few deliveries. Get one, I might get one. Squeezed off the edge, down to the boundary at third for four. Should go again to Shadab. Oh dear. Sides against it in the end. He's decided to go for the run out because he's the man who's in but almost gave them an opportunity to get another run. Oh, no ball called. Now, extra delivery. This is Judge Shinrari, the umpire. Tried the wide York, didn't get it, didn't get it right. And he got hurt downtown on the free hit. Shadab played it straight to the man who'd just been put back there. Try and pinch two, he should be run out. No, good dive, very good dive. We will check this, but I think it might be two and we could be at 131 for Pakistan. Um, yeah, freeze it, freeze it when the bells come up. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm going to make my decision on the big screen. Umpire Akbar Ali is convinced that's out, and rightly so. So it'll be exactly 130 for six in the end. And I just think that Pakistan will feel like it's a score with a very good bowling performance, they can defend, Tino. Remembering that Afghanistan are 1-0 up in this series, and to go 2-0 up, they will need 131 runs.